games. Hello, this is Icross1 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, Tropical 4. Yes, this is quite an old game, I'm aware. Uh, this is a game that I've I've had a love affair with for quite a long time, for many years. I, I originally played Tropical 3 and then was hooked onto Tropical 4. It was a, sort of my entry to Tropical 3 to City Builders and Tropical 4. Definitely can do that. Don't like Tropical 5! Just uh, state that now, just because I can. Don't like Tropical 5, so I'm playing 4. Yeah, start a new Let's Play, so let's go campaign. Now, I've never actually beaten this game, surprisingly. I've gotten very far in it, and I've done tons of shit in it, but I've never actually completed it. So hopefully in this Let's Play, that'll... Well, in this let This Let's Play will motivate me to do so. What a hellhole! But at least it's my hellhole. St. Clara is the typical Caribbean island. Beautiful on the outside, poverty stricken on the inside. People live in shacks and have hardly anything to eat. Healthcare and education are non existent, and unemployment is through the roof. Someday, I will turn Tropico into a true world power. First things first, improving the situation on St. Clara will secure local support and establish the foundation for my plans. Lovely voice acting there. Uh, yeah, play. Uh, let's build a custom avatar, shall we? Uh, male, sure, bouncer. What else we got? Uh, ooh. Yes, nice. Uh, complexion, don't really care. Hat, top hat, obviously. Hair, uh, ooh. Let's give him that ponytail, because, sure, ponytails. Accessories, pipe, cigar, glasses, 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 glasses. Monocle and cigar, of course. Uh, oh, pipe, yeah. Beard, uh, could you look up, please? Uh, goatee, no, no, yes. The rest of his hair may not be white, but that, that bit of his hair will be. And so will that. Can I make his... can I change his hair color? I don't think so. Whatever. Uh, the eyebrows one, of course. Background. Ooh. Uh... Which one of these looks interesting? Secret Agent. What does that give? Uh, Ten Respect with All Women. The name is Bond. James Bond. Um... <laughs> Militarist? No. Fortunate Son? No. Uh... Capitalist, environmentalist, pollution. Yeah, no, pollution is definitely a big problem, so I'm not gonna go with that. Uh, this. Oh no, communism. I wanted to go with something that all has pluses, because that always makes it easy. Tourism, attractions, and entertainment service quality. That could be interesting. All factions and. Oh. Yeah, let's go with that, because that could be useful. So my background is that I'm a war hero. Uh, as a young lad, you distinguished yourself on the battlefield with a bullet smashed in your left ear and your right middle finger at the same time. What? Through your left ear and your right middle finger. Okay, sure. Now your favorite pastime is annoying your grandchildren with your countless military exploits. Of course. Rise to power, um... What are some of these that could be good? All factions respect. Hmm. Minus 10% crime, minus 20% liberty, and nationalist. That could be good. Could be good. Factory workers production. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, minus 20% crime, minus 20%, minus 25% military buildings cost, and plus, let's go with, or what's this? Uh, no. Does this have any negative effects? Let's go with this, just because I always have troubles with appeasing to the religious faction, so we'll go with that. Uh, right then, why can't I go coward? You can't. Oh, war here. That makes sense. Uh, ooh, alter ego. Uh, lowers the cost. Ooh, less crime. That could be good. 
Diplomatic uh, relations with foreign powers. Yes, that is good. Good, good, good. Constructor. First cement factory costs no money. Cement factory. Oh, one thing I should put out now is I've never actually played this game with DLC. I know, right? I've I've only played the uh, without DLC, the um, vanilla game, as it were, because that's how I like playing games. Uh, so, yeah, this... There's some th I might not be as skilled in some things in this. Uh, let's go to some of the other pages. Survivalist environment? Sure. Actually, is there anything that actually helps the environment other than, like... Ooh, education and skill training. Never mind. Go for that. Uh, that looks good. Mr. The High Cross One. Gonna be a ruling power with his white beard and his black ponytail. Let's do this. <laughs> This the soundtrack of this game is just the best. So is this Saint Clara? Saint Clara, whatever it was. Bananas. Music's quite loud in this cutscene. There we go. Look at the water. Look at the beaches. Look at the palm trees. Beautiful. This is my home. This is tropical. This is paradise. It is still small, poor, and unknown. Yet I have big plans for it. Very big plans. Here I will build a nation and a country. Yeah, I was saying earlier about the DLC and stuff. Oh, yeah. Greetings, my friend. Are you settling well on your new island? Uh, yeah, but anyways, as I was saying before he interrupted me, uh... Okay. Welcome, more. Presidente. It is me, Panoltimo, your most trustworthy advisor. Yes, of course. I'm not gonna click OK just to explain this. Uh, Steam just gave me all the DLC for Tropico 4. I don't know why, but it just gave me all of it, so... I now have it, which is great. Uh, build at least two farms. So yeah, that's why I don't have any... Never played with the DLC. Um, oh, whoops. So the arrow keys is how I move the camera and middle mouse. That's that, and that's that. Okay. Whoop. Let's get ourselves situated with the docks, because that's how you do. And let's build some farms. Uh, lots of corn. Banana, no. Papaya. Ooh, a bit of papaya here. Might want to Grab that while we can. Same with pineapple. Uh, and sugar, of course, is... Actually, there's not too, too much sugar here. Okay, let's go with the papaya, because that... Uh, how do I do this again? <laughs> Controls! Uh, papaya. Uh, how do I rotate you? Well, that's not obviously how you do it. Um, just try again. <laughs> How do you how do you rotate? <laughs> Use the mouse wheel and arrow keys to rotate the building. Oh oh, it's scroll. That makes sense. Okay, uh, full speed because anything slower than that is boring. Uh, another farm, another farm, another farm. Uh, what else was here? There was. Let's just grab that sugar. And then another far farm, because screw you, I can build more than two farms. Put it there, and that should go nicely. Uh, Alright, let's build another tenant. Because... Oh, shit. Oh, that's fine. I meant to rotate it, forgot how to rotate. <laughs> but now it's fine sideways. Uh... You have no food. Well, just give it a minute to build. Actually, I should probably give one of these high priority. Ah, oh, the corn one got built first. Nice. Yep. And then you're gonna go over here. Ooh, there's me. Uh, oh. Yeah, helping with the production there. Alright. Come on. Did you not finish it? There you go. Well done, President Day. The farms are ready and will soon begin growing food for your citizens. 
Cool. I'm uh, actually just right now lower the music volume because it's a bit loud. I'm not sure how it is on the recording, but for me it just seems a bit loud, so. Uh, finances. Presidente, my name is Antonio Lopez. Export 500 tobacco. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me just actually raise this as well. And. There. Okay, so tobacco. Did I build any tobacco farms? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think so. Oh, there's not too many good places for tobacco here, so we'll just branch out over here or something. Um, no, that's too far away. We'll put her over here. There's the road. Just extend that a bit. There you go. Uh, oh, we're in debt. <laughs> Presidente, I am Reverend Fire Esteban. priests. I'll do that later. Uh, ten thousand dollars. Nice. Uh, do, do, do I can never forget. I can never remember even where the uh, churches are. Church. There you go. There you go. Uh, Fredo left with no exports on the board. Well, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's get this guy on high priority. Hmm. I don't think one tobacco farm is going to be enough, but I'm not sure if I want to waste money quite yet. I'm building another farm. Um, yay. Um, ah, uh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah. Uh. Hello, Buenas old man. Herm, what name is that? Hermine Gildo Moreno. We'll be keeping an eye on you, uh, Moreno, Mr. Moreno. Muy buena. You, Salzar. It's nice to meet you, Salzar. Right, where am I? No, no, no don't. Oh, that's already built. You got to stay there. Uh, okay. So that's built. That's going. You're going. You're going. When's the next ship coming in? Two months. Nice. So if you've never played a Tropico game before, it's it's your average city builder except with some slight differences in that it's based on the Caribbean around the 50s and yeah it's a, I, I like this just because it's so much more charming than any other city builder like I can't play like Sim City just because that game is just like gray <laughs> and like there's not too many other good city builders out there well, like the new new SimCity wasn't gray, but that was tiny. I mean, this is relatively tiny, but you know, it's it's nice. <clears throat> Proof healthcare. I'm feeling well, Presidente. There's some kind of a bug going around the island. Hmm. I'll look into that. It's let's actually build a high school. Can't build a college yet because it requires a high school. Right then, can we squeeze you in here somewhere? There you go. Tiny gap there. Mm. Uh, 50 new immigrants, nice. And do we get any money? Is my dog making a noise? What the hell? <laughs> my dog's making noises, which is weird. Presidente. Fishing, yes. Forgot about fishing. Uh, Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, it's all fairly terrible around this side, but. It's the only place where we can put a wharf for now, so let's just shove you in there, build a road to you, Doop. there you go, uh, look at the uh, nice wildlife, not wildlife, uh, plant life, it's beautiful, uh, foreign relations have deteriorated because our debt, oh, screw foreigners, <laughs> this is tropical man, we don't need no foreigners, uh, we got all the priests we need, yeah, I see you've run out of money, I mean. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, I mean. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for giving me money. Uh, I see the tobacco's coming in seasonally, which is nice. It should be harvested soon, and then it should be exported, making me some money. The population of St. Clara has been increasing steadily. It's we need more food? Consider building more food producers. Sure. Uh, I, can, I should get a marketplace, actually. Just so people can come and buy food easily. Uh, 
Doop. Uh, whoops. Doop. Let's just stick this next to the tenants. Let's stick it right behind, actually. Uh, yeah, that's fine. If we need to build more housing, we'll just be build it near there, or here. As long as it's near to the marketplace, that should be good. Uh, new quest. Improve healthcare. Hire doctors. Well, I'm doing stuff. I'm building a high school and a college so that we can actually train more doctors instead of just having a stable one. Are these papayas? They're coming along nicely. Uh, are these ready to be harvested yet? Come on, farmers. Do, do stuff. Um, have you, where's your crops? Over here? That's boring. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode here for, uh, today. What? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. This has been Lara Cross 1, playing Tropical 4. If you like the series, leave a like, favorite, and subscribe as per usual, or whatever you do to make people have, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day, and goodbye.